uh, FIR against two key Congress leaders. One of course, Congress MP Naveen Jindal, one of the richest industrialists in the country and also the Sari Narayan Rao, former Congress Minister, a media baron in Andhra Pradesh. Sunetra, the charges made by the CBI and this is the first time actually this has come out is that Naveen Jindal's company allegedly paid kickbacks to the Sari Narayan Rao who was Minister of State of, for Coal for Key Allotments. Tell us what you have. Well, this FIR is very significant because it's the 12th one, but this one makes very serious allegations. Now, let me tell you more about it. Just a couple of weeks before the coal scam comes up in Supreme Court and CBI has to answer for its own autonomy, they've booked the former coal minister, Dashri Narayan Rao, and Congress MP Naveen Jindal in the scam. What's also interesting is that for the first time, CBI has alleged a money trail where they say that apart from misleading the screening committee about its eligibility, Jindal Steel conspired with the minister to get the allocation and in return they suggest that Narayan, Dasari Narayan Rao may have got a kickback. Let me explain the money trail that they are alleging. Now the allocation was to Jindal Steel and to a subsidiary that's Gagan Sponge. Now through other subsidiary groups of Jindal Steel, CBI alleges that they transferred 2.25 crores worth to the minister's company. So from Jindal Realty, that's another group where Naveen Jindal is a shareholder. In the other in Jindal Steel, he's a director. In this, he's a shareholder. An unsecured loan of 2.25 crores is given through the various companies to Gagan Sponge. And from this, this is another affiliate, New Delhi Exim. But here's the important bit. New Delhi Exim then invests 2.25 crores is the same amount into Tashri Narayan Rao's Sobhagya Media Group. The timing of course is crucial and this is what the CBI will have to prove in court. The allocation made January 2008. This investment into Dashri Narayan Rao's company in December 2008, which is what the CBI thinks the minister got a kickback because of this. It comes within a year of this and that's what the CBI will have to prove. Let's look closely now at the type of investment that is being made into the Sri Narayan Rao's group. CBI says that the Jindal company bought shares which were actually 28 rupees in an exaggerated value of 100 rupees each. Of course, they'll have to prove all of this in court, but this is their suspicion that in its FIR and it's the reason that they've charged both of these people, high profile people under the Prevention of Corruption Act. Sunitra, so, in a sense, this couldn't have come at a worse time for the Congress and the UPA because the fact is that the MOS coal is one a cog really in the whole screening committee which actually decides on allocations and the final signature is that of the Prime Ministers. Now, the screening committee includes the coal secretary. So, if the allegation here is that uh, the former MOS coal was uh, allegedly given kickbacks by Naveen Jindal's firm in this complicated way, what about the rest of the screening committee? What about the fact that the Prime Minister actually signed this file? Well, this is where it gets very tricky for the government, Sonia. MOS is, as you're right, doesn't have a say in the screening committee. However, what CBS FIR actually suggests is that in collusion, he influenced because the whole process is that the screening committee, which is headed actually by the coal secretary, and let's not forget a little aside for our viewers, coal secretary is someone that the CBI wants to question, H.C. Gupta, but hasn't been allowed permission by the government to question yet, and they want to question him as an accused. So anyway, they think that the screening committee led by the coal secretary was up to no good, and they want to question him as an accused. What they're alleging in this FIR is that Dashanari Narayan Rao colluded with them influence them so that even though according to CBS FIRs, Jindal Steel did not deserve it, even then they got this. So that's the role. Of course, Prime Minister signed it. He signed everything. But according to the CBI, this was only done as uh, it's done on the recommendation. All the recommendations are made by the coal secretary who's head chairman of the screening committee and also the recommendation of the Minister of State. So that's extremely interesting because uh, as you pointed out this case is being monitored by the supreme court it will be coming up there just in a couple of weeks from now but what about the reactions from the men involved we've heard the cbi's version of events that's in their fir now but what's actually the version of naveen jindal and 
Mr. Rao, because they've both been completely incommunicado. And in case of Naveen Jintal, again, his home and office is raided today. Yes, 15 segments. In fact, if we can show you some of those pictures, perhaps, of that, that 15 locations were. He's been charged with accused of criminal misconduct. That's, of course, because of the investment there. And also, uh, the various offices, CBI men over there. What's interesting also, as well, is that Naveen Jindal wasn't home. This is his uh, Porsche address. That's six Prithvi Raj Road where CBI men were all there. And while he was there, they couldn't, a lot of cupboards were locked, so CBI couldn't get to them. And so they've been sealed. They've been sealed. And so CBI says when he's back in front of him, uh, they will be opening those cupboards as well. What uh, the charges against him, if we can just see what those charges are criminal misconduct that relies to the Prevention of Corruption Act because of the investment made and the quid pro quo. And of course, conspiracy and cheating, that charge, of course, ties up with the various charges all other companies have had because they, uh, in fact, misled the screening committee. Jindal's defense, their company has sent in a statement. They are saying that they committed fully about cooperating with the CBI. They say they are a law-abiding company and they're governed by a strong ethical code of conduct. So Naveen Jindal, director of Jindal Steel, has been booked on this. That's his response. Now, BJP has welcomed this while the Congress tried to deflect the blame about the high-profile MP who's also on the Standing Committee for Home Affairs. Prime Minister was the coal minister and he is the signatory to each and every allotment during 2006 and 2009. So all the blocks which are being investigated by the CBI today bear the signature of Sri Manmohan Singh and that is the most serious aspect. That is why government is covering it up. It doesn't matter. In whatever position, if he is involved, you see that they should go. According to law, you see that they should be proceeded. So, Sunita, any likelihood of further action by the CBI? Are there going to be any arrests now that these FIRs have been filed? No arrests as of now, but what our sources are saying is that for sure, what we can expect in the next few days, of course, is questioning. And after that, if he's charge cheated, then perhaps it's up to the court whether to order Naveen Jindal's arrest or not. And in case he's evasive, only then will the question of arrest come. Sunita, thanks so much for all those exclusive and comprehensive details. That now is the CBI side of the story as Naveen Jindal and Dashir Narayan are now both not speaking at the moment. But joining me tonight, I'm joined by Shantaram Nayak of the Congress. He's the chairman of the Parliamentary Standing Committee on uh, Law and Justice as well from the Congress. I'm also joined by Sudhan Chutrivedi of the BJP. Prashant Pushan, in this case, now he's actually a petitioner in Colgate and he was the one who had brought up the whole issue of the CBI director meeting with the law minister, which eventually led, of course, to Ashwini Kumar being asked to leave. I'm also joined by Tivleen Singh, a well-known author and columnist. And also with me, Pinaki Mishra, BJD MP, also senior lawyer, and he has represented the Jindals earlier in cases. No one from the Jindal group agreed to be on this program tonight. But Mr. Nayak, over to you first, because the details that Sunetra has given of the CBI investigation seem very damaging. What is the Congress and the government response? Also the fact that will I'm this Colgate fire now not just singe, but burn the UPA be. because the Prime Minister signed the allocation finally. What I'm wondering what BJP has to say, first of all, and I will say it, about CBI's fairness, independence. Now, Javadekar just say, this is too little, too small, etc., etc. And uh, government has taken too long a time to deal with this matter, etc., etc. Though, of course, so the CBI investigation is monitored by the Supreme CBI, Court, sir. They blame. No, though, of course, CBI is being no, investigation is no, monitored no, by the Supreme okay, Court. It's okay. It's okay. It's that, okay that I got my own opinion about the monitoring of Supreme Court cases. I am not saying on that. Right now, I am not on this point. Whether the Supreme Court can man, man, mo monitor, etc., I have got my own opinion. Forget about it. But when co Congress is there, when go go Congress government is there, our cases, you see Suresh Kalmadi. Suresh Kalmadi went to jail. And we have made Bansal, Ashwini Kumar resign, Ashok Sawan resign, Raja Kanimoli went to jail. 
Now, our transparency on each issue has been there very clearly and nobody doubt the credentials of the UPA government. No, but Mr. Shantar, I'm mad. Surely that can't be a roll call of honor. No, surely this cannot be a roll call of honor that uh, these uh, so many people were charged and okay, then we asked them to go. Sudhan so, Trivedi, do you want to react to this point that what will the BGP say now? I want to ask Mr. Nayak <coughs> that the list of actions which he has just elaborated in front of you is most of the cases it was done on the insistence of the Supreme Court. It was not done on the behest of the government itself and particularly in the manner in which the BJP has raised this issue in the parliament even then they have tried to turn us a deaf ear. Finally when the Supreme Court intervened then only they have done this. So it is not the question that the government is taking a high moralist stand. And the other thing about the independence of the CBI and they are trying to say that if the CBI has done this raid it means the CBI is working independent. The first thing, again, this is the case under the Supreme Court supervision. And the second thing, regarding the CBI, just four days back, you remember, they have withdrawn all the cases against Mr. V. George. And they have submitted the closer report. This itself is a very glaring evident evidence that the CBI is working under the influence of the government. So I totally discredit this idea that the government is doing in a fair manner for the proper investigation of these sort of scams.